Thought these might help pass the time. <laughs> what, you know some magic tricks? Like the one where I snap my fingers and I know whether my surgery worked? All together now. You have to be... Patient, patient. I don't do patient. I need to know. Am I going to be able to walk back into Ryan's life or not? To snap my fingers and reverse your paralysis, the best I can do is beat you at a game of gin rummy. Feel him. Tammy Smith, who's that? Oh, that's your alias. I also had a fake ID made in case you... What, died? Again? I could have picked a better name. I mean, don't you have better things to do? What, then trounce you at a game of cards? No, nope, I couldn't think of anything better than that. I am serious. I mean, wouldn't you rather be fixing hearts, scaring med students, anything but stuck here with me? I'm not stuck here. This is exactly where I want to be. Take a card. You miss Pine Valley. You can tell because I do too. I miss Trevor. And Marissa. And Amanda. I miss Trevor. And Marissa. And Amanda. All right, yes, I do miss Pine Valley. But Pine Valley doesn't miss me. And that's just the way it is. Hmm. I'm guessing you made it pretty easy for them not to miss you. If you're suggesting I did some awful things, what else is new? But hey, what can I tell you? I wanted a family. So you went to the extreme? Oh, please, don't tell me you don't understand. I know you, Greenlee. You know what it's like to want something so bad, something that you can't live without, something that forces you to break all the rules. But trust me, I hardly have a monopoly on cruelty in that town. <laughs> What do you mean? Jake and Amanda did everything in their power to keep me from knowing about Trevor. They led me to believe he was dead. I held a memorial service for him. I buried his ashes. Can you even imagine doing something like that? Leading a person to think that someone they love is dead? That's exactly what you've done to Ryan. You know, Ryan and Trevor are two completely different situations. Your injuries were so severe, I didn't think you would live. Wouldn't it have been worse to get their hopes up, only to crush them again? Greenlee, I don't think you realize that this is nothing short of a miracle we're even having this conversation. I, I know, and you're the miracle worker. I get it. Uh, trust me. But you me. have to see the parallels. I wanted to tell Ryan about you, but at the time... You don't have to explain. You saved my life. I hope you know how thankful I am. Not, not enough to let me win at a game of cards, right? It's okay. Ryan will know I'm better when the time is right. When I'm all healed up and I can go back to him good as new. Do you know something I don't? No, you're completely up to speed on your progress. And why do I get the feeling that you're hiding something? I think your confidence is inspiring. And the last thing I want to do is to discourage it. But you have to be realistic, Greenlee. You have to ask yourself the tough questions. Like, what if you can't go back to Ryan the way you want to? I will. I know it. I want your dreams to come true as much as you do. But you have to accept the possibility that it might not happen. Do you raid on my parade? I just want you to be prepared. For failure? I'm sorry, but I refuse to think that way. Not only will I have a full recovery, I bet it's happening already. My nerves are doing their thing as we speak. I'm sure that your positive attitude will carry you a long way. I'm just not sure that it'll take you exactly where you want to go. Now, whose turn is it? This game's boring. Besides, I think you're cheating. Sore loser. Okay, fine. I'll deal another hand. No, I want you to test me. Test my legs right now. Don't you want to know if I'm right? I mean, if I am, you can go home to Trevor and I can go home to Ryan. We both win. So what are we waiting for? 
Anything? No. Why isn't it working? Healing takes time, Greenlee. Well, isn't there something else you can try? All right, look, why, why don't we just give it a rest for now, okay? Please. Well, I could stick you with a safety pin, you light, know, just very gently. Light my feet on fire if you have to. Anything? You felt that? Yes. Barely, but yes, I definitely felt something. Heel of my left foot. That's right. <laughs> I knew the surgery worked. Okay, that's a really good sign, but we still have a long way to go. Well, what's next? I'm gonna go get Dr. Clayton. Well, go. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. For now. <sighs> well, I'm encouraged. That's it? Well, yes. I'm very pleased that you think you've regained some sensation. I don't think. I know. Doesn't it have to mean something? Well, I just don't know right now. You underwent a very complicated surgery, and I was very clear about the time frame for recovery. It's important that you just don't push if too First, you fast. tell me to be positive. Then you're saying ignore the positive feelings I'm getting. Okay, that, that, that's not what he's doing. I'm saying we need to be realistic. If I hear that word one more time, I'm going to scream. This isn't wishful thinking. What I felt was real, and I need something like that to hold on to, okay? So don't kill it. I'm sure that's not what the doctor's intending to do, okay? Listen, why don't we discuss this outside, okay? I'll be back. Did you make a phone call? Yes. Ryan. But I hung up. It was an impulse, okay? I told you. I needed something to give me hope. But you and Dr. Clayton are right. I have to be realistic about my chances. And I decided I won't call Ryan until I'm better. I'll stick to that. <laughs> 